Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Have you ever had a chuck unwind on you while the lathe was, was turning? It, let's talk about this kind of uh, situation and what might cause it to happen and how we can prevent this kind of uh, situation from occurring which could cause a, a severe accident. I want to give a shout out to Mohammed Haddadi for suggesting this, this video. Some folks reverse their, their lathe direction when they're, they're sanding, typically uh, going to reverse and forward and changing with each, each grit um, with the understanding that, that it will give them a finer finish or that when it's less likely to have raised grain when they put a finish on their piece. And, and I understand the theory, and I, I, won't, I won't question the theory behind it or, or that it works for the people. I haven't frankly found that it works that much for me. Uh, perhaps because larger pieces I tend to buff and uh, with the Minwax antique oil going in into it and, and buffing it you know I'm not going to have an issue with, with the finish. On smaller pieces I'm using my uh, you know abra abrasive paste concoction which uh, you know by getting that wax into the pores and, and and working it with a uh, paper towel in, in effect buffs it. Uh, and these things like maybe boxes and Christmas tree ornaments, small things that I would finish on the lathe, and it, things that I would tend to use a friction uh, polish finish on. So when you take a paper towel and you do a friction uh, polish, you're in, in effect buffing it. So frankly, I haven't found it that, you know, that, that helpful to me. Uh, that, that said, I... I do on occasion uh, turn in reverse when I find it's easier for me to, to cut on the on the back side on a detail as opposed to leaning way over the lathe and having to swing swing a tool out sometimes for for say a, a bead in, in that direction it's easier to do it do it this way but it doesn't happen a lot most most chunk manufacturers are going to provide you a, a, a set screw that will go in on on the back of the, the chuck and generally it, it will land in an area where there aren't threads, depending on your spindle, some instances it might land on on the threads. Um, it's it, it's inconvenient. Of course, inconvenience is not a good reason to to avoid doing something safely. But it, I've not had an issue with the lathe uh, unraveling with the uh, turning in in reverse. And I think it would, for most people, it would be hard to make it unravel just from sanding. Number one, you don't want to put that much pressure while you're sanding. That's not a not a good thing, tends to uh, wear out sandpaper, uh, doesn't give you the best sanding, uh, sanding but finish. But my experience is that you're unlikely to put enough pressure on the piece while you're sanding because generally you can lower, lower the speed, probably about a third uh, of what you might be turning at. It's hard to put enough pressure on it that, that's likely to cause that, that lathe to, to unravel. If you've had a chuck un, uh Un, unthread while you're sanding with it in reverse. I'd appreciate if you leave a comment below and explain the the, the serpent, uh, share that that information with the with the viewers. However, I have had the, uh, a, a chuck unravel when I shut off the lathe abruptly, and uh, here's here's what's occurring. It's turning this way, and then all of a sudden the spindle stops, and you've got this big mass of 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 metal, maybe with a large unbalanced project on it, uh, and, and it has a tendency to act like a big flywheel. Uh, that can be rather disconcerting. I have not had that to be much of an issue with, with a smaller smaller chuck. Never had it happen with a small chuck, uh, with a small project, only this bigger chuck. Uh, this medium size uh, Supernova 2 or, or the equivalent record, record power SC4 chuck weighs uh, 4 plus pounds. This uh, Technotool uh, Titan chuck weighs twice that at, at 8 pounds uh, plus. So you got a lot more steel with that situation. Part of the, one of the reasons it happens with these, with these large uh, modern lathes that have variable frequency drives, they have electronic brakes built into the setting on the variable frequency drive. So when you, when you hit the stop button, all of a sudden that brake kicks in and it comes to a screeching halt while that thing keeps on. The momentum uh, uh, has a tendency to keep that, that thing going and, and possibly unthread. 
And you could have the same thing with, with a, uh, a smaller faceplate that had a very large project on it that's very heavy. You could have that same situation occur. So what are the solutions to, to prevent this from happening? Number one, uh, don't use the lathe in reverse. That's one possibility. Uh, put on a chuck with a slight flick of the wrist. You know, make sure it's locked. Just give it a little bit of a pop. But I think for me, where, where it occurs when I'm turning the lathe off, the most significant uh, takeaway is don't hit the stop button. It, uh, with a large lathe uh, project, especially if you've seen it, it has a tendency to happen with your particular setup. Slow the lathe down with your uh, speed control to to bring it to a to a stop, and then slowly turn it back on. And of course, the last solution one manufa that the manufacturer suggests is is use your uh, your, your set screw to hold it on if you've got any concerns at all. And remember, y'all stay safe. Come on back here.